Hey, everyone, and welcome into a Locked On NFL Insider Report. I'm your host, Kim Becker, and joining me is our NFL Insider, Isaiah Stanback. And Isaiah, Thursday on the week after the regular season has ended, we have yet another head coach being fired. The Houston Texans have let go of David Culley, a one-and-done here, kind of a one-season, came in, head coach, and now he's out. What do we think about this, Isaiah? Yeah, I mean, we obviously know about Black Monday and all the coaching vacancies that were presented on that day, but we haven't really heard much about Black Thursday. Um, and that's exactly what happened here. Obviously, uh, David Culley came in obviously under underneath uh, the the helms of things over in the Houston Texans. And his from his perspective, he thought that he was going to have a great opportunity stepping into a situation that was that most people didn't really want to touch. Uh, you had a disgruntled uh, quarterback that he was walking into uh, weeks after his hiring. They let go of J.J. Watt. Um, you know, it's just things just weren't going in the direction in which you wanted to as a, as a first time head coach. Um, and then they brought in, obviously, the new general manager, Nick Casario. And this the reality of the matter is he was a placeholder. And as much as people feel as if this was, um, you know, he didn't he didn't get his due opportunity um, with a one and done. This is not Nick Casario's guy. Um, he was somebody who needed to be needed to come in and fill this role. Um, yes, he was given opportunities to go out there and try to piece together this roster. This roster was filled with one year contracts with a, a, with a bunch of veteran players who were trying to revive their careers. And it was just a, ultimately a bad a, a, a bad situation for him to walk into. And I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that he's where he was released of his duties. But now Nick Casario could really start figuring out the direction of this organization. And now he gets to pick his guy. Well, in comparison to some other franchises here within the league that have head coach openings, where does this one rank? Because like you just said, it's a tough situation to come into. It was tough for David Coley. It's going to be tough for the next guy, but it could also be looked at as an opportunity to rebuild, you know, if you have that that right coach here and the right roster. But in comparison to the Bears, the Vikings, the Broncos, where does this one rank? Yeah, I mean, obviously, these are this is not a historic franchise, so you can't really look at it in the same light as the Bears and and uh, others of, the, that, of that uh, category. But, you know, you start looking at the management and Nick Asario, obviously the general manager uh, for the Houston Texans is coming from the New England Patriots. He's been he was there for a very long time and he was really cut from that Bill Belichick cloth. They had a lot of success together, so he knows exactly how to build a roster. He knows what type of leadership he is looking for and what direction this organization needs to go in to be successful. So I think people are going to rest assured on his resume and his ability to put together some pretty doggone good rosters and teams, obviously, and he has he has the rings to show it. Well, and you mentioned Deshaun Watson, the whole quarterback situation, David Coley coming into that. Do you think that that was a big factor in moving forward now? I and mean, where do we think that Deshaun Watson really stands with all this? Yeah, well, obviously, Deshaun Watson uh, did not play this year. Um, actually, when David Culley was hired, um, prior to him being hired, Deshaun Watson had already asked for a trade. He had already demanded a trade. So that's the situation that David Culley walked into. He didn't have his quarterback. The quarterback that they went out and, um, and, and signed, he got hurt. So, I mean, you have, so you're have so down to your third-string quarterback, in which you drafted in the third round, David Mills. Uh, and, you know, he played well his last four games. But now you're in a situation where you now need a new head coach. And now what is going to be your quarterback? Who's going to be your quarterback going forward? Is it going to be David Mills or is it going to be Deshaun Watson? Are they still going to look to trade him? Uh, are, are teams going to still want to touch him with all these allegations still um, hanging over his head? So there's a lot of question marks still re revolving around this. And I think that's going to have a big impact on their ability to bring in the coach that they desire. Yeah, definitely. Well, I appreciate it, Isaiah. It's not, I know it's not always the most fun situation to talk about <laughs> and subject here to, to keep lingering on throughout this whole week. Like you said, we were expecting Black Monday, but Black Thursday, I mean, this has been a lot of days with this and with the families and other coordinators and coaches involved, it's always kind of a tough situation, but I appreciate your insight. No, no problem at all.